Welcome back to the video. I am your tech guy Wayne and today I want to show you what to do if your screen freezes or your touchscreen is glitching on your Samsung Galaxy A36. This is a trick called a soft reset or a forced restart that will basically shut the phone off and turn it back on using a button combination. All you need to do is hold down on the power and the volume down button for a few seconds. Let me show you right now how to do it. So power, volume down, one, two, three, hold. And it will take you to this screen. Continue to hold the buttons until the whole screen goes dark. That's how you'll know, yep, just like that. That was about five seconds. So we just triggered the force restart. This is gonna shut the phone down, turn it back on. And any glitch you're having with the software, this should fix it. Now, let me tell you what scenarios where this may not fix your issue. If your touchscreen is cracked or damaged, if your phone is glitching because of that, this may not work. So keep that in mind. Um, this mainly works if, for example, you have an app that is glitching or maybe your phone is stuck in a, a boot loop and it, for some reason, won't turn on properly. Um, it usually will fix issues like that. And again, it just shuts the software all the way down. It forces it to reboot. And usually, this is where Samsung software can catch any of those glitches and then it can correct it uh, in a few seconds. So as you can see, it took about 20 to 30 seconds for the phone to turn back on, which is totally normal. It's booting back up and I should be able to swipe right back in and begin to use the phone like normal. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, bump that like button down below. If this does not fix your problem, if you're in that basket of folks that have, a, um, have damage on the phone, my next recommendation is for you to take your phone to one of your local cell phone repair shops and have them take a look at it. They usually can diagnose the screen um, or give you a quote on what it would cost to replace the screen because if the screen is damaged, you'll probably need to get a new one for those issues to go away. All right. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care, and as always, have a good one.